Namaste, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be across the planet, around the world. My name is Greg Prescott from In5D.com, and I'm coming to you live from Siesta Key Beach at the Blue Lifeguard Tower. I did a little walk. As you can see in the distance, there's a drum circle going on down there, but that's not what I'm here to talk about. Uh, there's some big events that are going on, and I'd like to jump into that, if I may, okay? So, yeah, the title of this is called On the Edge of Galactic History, and I'll get into that in a minute while uh, people are filing in right now. And it's a, it's a wonderful feeling to be where we're at right now, despite all of the energies that are going on are, that are causing us to purge a lot. A lot is coming up through um, our lower chakras as what we've seen in our high-pitched frequencies throughout the last month. The majority of them have been all lower chakras, the root, the sacral, the solar plexus. And as you know, in order to access your higher chakras, you need to get the lower ones right first. So while we have people filing in, I just want to say, um, you know, thank you everyone for joining me here. And if you're watching it on the recorded version on YouTube, thank you. Uh, there are still ads available. Uh, a couple just popped up on N5D. So if you're interested in that, you can just go to the home menu and follow the link. And if you have a product or a service that you'd like to have represented on N5D, do it up. Also, yeah, just want, I want to talk about one thing too. Um, personally, and, and I wonder if this is all part of the purging process, but you know, I've had this uh, numbing in my feet, and after having a John of God session to basically heal my sciatica, and it's gone. Um, I've had numbness in my left foot, and now I have numbness in my right foot. And I was told at the time that it was supposed to be a reminder to put out gratitude for the healing, which I always do anyway. Uh, every day I take my walk of gratitude. But after it went into the right foot, I thought, okay, maybe there's something more into it. And what I ended up doing was I, I got a, a blood sugar glucose kit, home monitoring kit. And I've been taking my blood sugar tests for about a week. And the numbers go anywhere from like a couple days ago, I had 92. Yesterday I had 133, which is kind of high. It's almost diabetic. So I might be at the pre-diabetic stage and that might have been what was causing the numbness in my feet. So what I've been doing is I've been taking CBD oil. Not just for that, I also found out I have high blood pressure. Uh, my blood pressure, when I initially measured it about a week ago, was 148 over 89. So I've been taking CB, CBD oil, and it's uh, one of the highest ones I can find. It's 500 milligrams, and I'm just taking three drops in the morning, three drops in the evening, and I'm already seeing marked improvements so yeah today my my blood sugar was 102 which is down from 133 <laughs> that's that's pretty good but what you want to do is take a uh, get at least a month or a week then a month history and average everything out <coughs> excuse me so i'm not going to say the brand name of what i'm using just yet because i want to give it time but if it's a product that I feel that continues to do what I think it's already been doing, I'll, t I'll tell you guys about it. But uh, in the meanwhile, I'm just going to keep plugging away and doing what I do. The high blood pressure thing kind of surprised me because I spent a lot of time grounding and, you know, at the beach and walking and exercising. But apparently uh, CBD oil is not only good for high blood pressure, but it's also good for diabetics. So... It's a win-win situation, so I'm looking forward uh, to doing that. Uh, just a reminder that 
we have a, a full moon coming up on the 17th. We just had a new moon on the 3rd, a Gemini new moon. Now with the full moon, what happens is that the sun is in the opposition to the moon, which illuminates the moon. The moon, the sun is um, masculine and projective, and the moon is feminine and receptive. So we have two opposing forces going up against each other. So when the moon, when the moon is waxing, that's a good time. It's growing. It's growing inside. So that's those are good times to put out intentions for anything to gain. Uh, for like example, if you want to gain in abundance when the moon is waxing, uh, that's when you put those intentions out. When it's waning, um, after the full moon, as it gets smaller, when it's waning, that's when you want to put out the intentions uh, to remove things such as pain. And that's what we're seeing a lot of here uh, lately with these energies. A lot of people are going through emotional purgings and it can be quite devastating for many people but know that it's all in your highest and greatest good that these all occur. Because as I mentioned, you're not going to be able to access fully the higher chakras until you address what's going on in the lower chakras. And that's the key to accessing the heart, the throat, the third eye, the crown chakra. So just a quick shout out to everyone that's joining me here uh, today. I, I, there's, with, gosh, we have a lot of people. Uh, Jody, Vicky, Jean, Yolanda, Amanda, Crystal, Linda, Cindy, Jean, uh, Katrina, gosh, Danny. Uh, namaste, welcome to uh, uh, Impromptu in 5D uh, live video here on Siesta Key. Uh, Jelena is saying, if it's any constellation, I've had low blood pressure all my life, and all of a sudden I have high blood pressure. And about the same time, my heel is killing me with plantar fasciitis. Wow. Whoops. I don't want to see my foot. <laughs> yeah. It's, well, it's interesting because I know for some strange reason what goes on with me ends up being reflected through many of the people that are watching and listening. Um, and that's why I'm really excited about this CBD oil that I'm taking, 500 milligrams. We'll see where it goes. I mean, there's literally hundreds, if not thousands of benefits from it. As I mentioned, I'm not gonna say the name of it until I get some more verified documentation. I'm taking my blood glucose readings every day, every morning, first thing in the morning. And, uh, I'm monitoring my blood pressure. So as these improve, then I'll tell you guys what I'm taking because I don't want to send you guys on a wild goose chase, but if it's doing something miraculous, heck yeah, I want to tell you about it. So as you guys can all sense and feel, we are on the edge of galactic history right now. Many of you are familiar with the Schumann resonance charts. And what I just saw, and I'll be making a video in the middle of the month for my Patreon uh, followers, uh, a mid-month Patreon energy update. But I'll release part of that also on YouTube. But what I saw, and I'll put this part out there, is somebody went through and took the Schumann Resonance readings for every day of the month from January all the way through May. And what you can see in, in physical proof is what's been happening on this human resonance. It's gotten to the point, and I mentioned this a few months ago, that this would become the norm, what we've been seeing on the human resonance charts. This, this will become the norm, and it has been. What we're seeing are whiteouts basically all the time. Uh, there's a lot of things that are going on outside of the human resonance as well, but you have to wonder if these occurrences are also in connection. For example, I just posted an article today on M5D uh, about all these ships that are around the sun right now. Why are they there? Uh, obviously, they, they are um, malevolent, uh, friendly ships that are there observing 
us and there's a lot of people that are waiting for us to join them at the big party and we can all sense and feel that that's where we're heading and that's where we're about to be that's where these high pitch frequencies of the lower chakras are coming in pay attention to them make sure you're getting out there and grounding um, tuning into them and when you ground uh, be sure that you ground yourself fully into the earth and make sure you bring yourself back in to yourself after you get done grounding too because sometimes when you're out in nature you may tend to um, exit through the crown chakra basically so excuse me. somebody's trying to contact me here so that's basically everything i wanted to say about what's going on um there's some huge things that are going to be happening um, if you haven't no, uh, seen the latest article I just posted, uh, it's from Aluna Ash, and there's some uh, energies that are going on right now uh, that I believe um, start on the 13th, and then there's more energies that are coming in on the 21st. I believe I don't have the names, dates, and numbers in front of me, but expect more of this stuff coming in right now. Um, it's, it's happening as we speak. And even though we're getting these um, lower chakra frequencies, those are reminders to stay, in, to hang in there and continue doing your grounding, doing that work to clear those lower chakras to prepare you for what's happening coming up. Now, as for me, you know, I'm going to keep plugging away. Um, I've got, I'm going to be doing my CBD oil every day. And uh, I'll, t I'll, I'll let you guys know what's going on with my progress. Right now. Um, lastly, just want to remind people that if you are watching, uh, there are advertisement spots on Open Mind and 5D. So if you, have if you have a product, a service, <laughs> it's a little windy there. If you have a product or a service or a business that you like advertising, you can advertise for as low as $100 a month. Be sure that you subscribe to in 5D as well uh, for our, either our daily or weekly newsletter um, so that way you'll be kept in the loop about what's what's going on gosh my hair is all over the place um, I wish I could have kept track a little bit better it's hard to read all the comments that are going on when you're on a cell phone a lot easier when you're on a laptop but uh, right now I think I'm gonna go head over to the drum circle it's over there looks like a, a nice crowd there's it's kind of cloudy out right now uh, a little overcast I know we're expecting rain later on um, in the next couple days so figured I'd get out of the house get a little exercise in um, try to lower that blood pressure a little so anyway hang in there I know what you're going through I'm going through it too uh, so there's a lot of purging going on um, but we're gonna make it through it all right and we're gonna end up uh, end up on top of it all so until the next time i'm sending you all infinite love and light this is great from n5d.com face